what's up people hey welcome back to my channel today i have in short i'm going to discuss today today's topic is how to make money from instagram how to make cool cash <laughs> from instagram now how to make money on instagram is simple but if you don't know it you just don't know it so i'm going to be giving you tips today so stay tuned do not skip any parts of my name is abigail martins and if this is your first time on my channel this channel is about business how to grow your business what to, where to get what and how to get what in nigeria to start your business or to boost your business so this channel is for you if you're a business person if you want to learn new tricks and turns in your business this channel is for you please don't forget to subscribe and guess what there's a bonus I won't tell you where the bonus will come in, but please keep watching. Now today's topic is very, very vital. It's something that I have, see. I have passion for teaching people how to make money online because see, I, I have suffered online. Um, I have suffered to make money online you know, because people didn't really tell me. I made so many mistakes. So whatever I come here to talk about is things that I made mistakes on, and I don't want it to fall into that same category i want you to learn from my mistake and move on so the first thing to do when you want to make cool cash on instagram you really really want to make money on instagram see i have my book here because I, I don't want to skip anything so that i don't forget something so i see this is my book so the first thing is to, do is to get a product get a service that you're rendering to people just get something doing on instagram and instagram people eh, they just don't want to see your pictures okay you're posting so what they want to know what you are offering them to get they want to know what you are offering them they just don't want to come to your page and scroll through no they want to know how you can help them do you understand because these days then eh, people hardly go to the market i'm telling you the truth they go hardly go to the, the stores if you live in lagos you understand what i'm trying to say lagos states in short i think 80 percent of people in lagos buy most of their things online so you should have a product that you sell online you have a service that you render coaches are online right now coaching people on how to do things online so please have a product or a service to render on instagram then the second thing to do is give your business scene a catchy name it's okay to say um you want to open an instagram page and you say like me my name is abigail now i'll say abigail's abigail maybe underscore whatever they don't care who oh. instagram people don't care they want to know your product so what you do i will advise you to put each in case you still want to use your name because me i don't advise to use your name on your business as your business name on instagram if you want to use your name you can say and you sell clothes you can say abigail underscore clothes chinere underscore belt um okafo underscore shoe and um, bags do you get or okay for bad da, 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 ng but you know it's as simple as that but if you don't know that people eh will just fall into this trap of not knowing how to put on their business name now your business name helps to get visibility for example before i bought this lapel mic what i did i went to instagram and i tapped i typed lapel mic everyone said him lapel mic all their pages just came out yes that is what adding your business to your name does it helps people to people to see your, your your page to patronize you it helps people to really know that you are on instagram because if they want to buy like you want to buy like i wanted to buy lapel mic i will not know chinere sells lapel mic if you did not put chinere lapel mic <laughs> do you understand or chinere phone accessories now under that phone accessory there's lapel mic there's a ring light you get so that is what a catchy business name does for you then the third thing to do is arrange your profile ah yesterday i was teaching people how to arrange your profile on instagram i gave a free class man i saw people's profile and i was like does this person actually sell on instagram you want people to buy from you and they don't even know where you stay 
They don't even know the city you stay. They don't even know your WhatsApp number. They don't even know if you deliver nationwide uh -uh, or worldwide. What is it? Me? Please arrange your profile. Oh. If you want to send on Instagram, that is one thing people want to know. They want to know you from your profile. Please, if you have not arranged your profile, I'll say some. Run, go and arrange your profile because it, it needs to be catchy for people to actually know that they can trust you and buy from you. Then the, the fourth thing to do is be consistent. See, uh, I'll tell you any day, any time that consistency is the key for online businesses. You cannot come and post one thing and you go back in the next three weeks. Um, I think they will see that when I when I'm back. No. Even on YouTube, you need to be consistent too. Talk more of Instagram. Instagram is where people feed every second. Like sometimes people just wake up in the morning and the first thing they go to is, is, is Instagram. So Instagram is where you have to be consistent. I know someone that posts 20 pictures some days. Me, I post 12, 15 some days. Do you understand? Especially if I'm doing sales, I post a lot. Because people need to know that how can they want to buy something? They see one today. They see the one that you posted. The last time you posted was last two months. Nobody see. No, nobody will visit your page again. I'm serious. So please be consistent. Let people know that if they send you a message, you can reply. If I want to buy something from a shoe vendor that doesn't come online every time, and I say, and I see a shoe, and I say, hello, ma, I I want this shoe. How um, how can I get it? And the person does not come on after two weeks. How does the person reply to me now? Maybe I'll not wait for two weeks. The person, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There are other shoe sellers. I will go and buy. <laughs> I will go and buy from that person. The other people do get. Then the the fifth thing is learn how to create. Learn how to create attractive content. See, uh, these days people buy with their eyes first before they see. Before they feel the thing that they are buying. Whether it's food or whether it's even if it's common. See, pen, bureau that you are selling on Instagram. Say good angle of that picture. Be creative. Gone are those days when you just take a product and put it on somewhere and just snap and no. People want to see how bright it is, the color combination, the setting, the environment. People want to see that. I'm telling you the truth. So please, always be creative. Or see, photography is one thing you need to learn when doing business on Instagram. I'm telling you the truth. Everybody needs to learn photography when doing business on Instagram. I'm telling you the truth. I saw something, was it two weeks ago, on Facebook. And it was, I think it's going to be a beautiful dress. So, but because of the way the person took the picture, just threw something on the ground and uh -uh, and she was selling she was selling 25k. So me, I was, hey, hey, I'll use my 25k, I'll go and buy that, you know. It's not because the dress will not be fine, but it's because of the presentation. No, I can't buy it. And I imagine how many people have seen that uh, dress and they are not buying it. Ah, but try and do something about your photography, please. It's, see, when it's catching, it helps people to be glued to your page. Do you get? People need to be glued to your page. Do you understand? Yes. Then, the sixth thing, which is the topping. When they say, icing on the cake topping on the ice cream ice icing on the cake sponsored ads hey how do you want to run a business online and you are not spending money you think mark does not pay people that update this, this app all the time he pays people so how does he pay people from your ads sponsored ads is one thing i can never see see you can i can't overflow this matter please I beg you, please, in Chineke's name, please run sponsored ads. Sponsored ads is very good for your business. Do you know what sponsored ads does to your business? Now, let me tell you. I have 11.2K followers on one of my page, and I have 7,226 7, something, something followers on Instagram. Now, if I make a post, it's not those 7,000, let me say on the 7,000 something page. It's not those 7,000 people that are online that time I'm posting. It. Sometimes it's just 2,000 people that are online. It's shocking. Yes, that's how it works. Sometimes it's just 2,000 people that is online. 
Now, those 2,000 people, sometimes they are not even on your page. <laughs> sometimes it's 500 people that are on your page. Some, you know, but when you run sponsored ads, the ads will share your business page to numerous types of people, like people that are not your followers, random people, people in your country, people outside your country, people in your state, people outside your state. So sponsored ads is the fuel. I say it every day. Sponsored ad is the fuel for online business. Please run sponsored ads and run sponsored ads very well. Go to a good coach that can help you to run sponsored ads and don't run sponsored ads and go and sleep. When you run sponsored ads, sleep in your DM. Sure, carry your mat, go to your DM and sleep. <laughs> because as you are running the sponsored ad, a good sponsored ad, people will be in your DM. Don't keep them waiting. Run, just sleep there. When I run sponsored ads, I don't, in short, I, I don't even go anywhere. I will not get network or where my phone will die. I'm always on my phone because I'm always having orders from my sponsored ads. So always run sponsored ads on your page. Do you know that sponsored ad gives you followers too? Do you know that? Yes. Sponsored ad gives you followers. So there, are, see, a lot of benefits. A lot of benefits when you run sponsored ads. Sponsored ads, hey God. It has helped my business so it has really 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 helped my business sometimes when i run sponsored ads i get up to 200 followers sometimes when i run sponsored ads i get 100 followers but apart from followers i make my money sometimes 20 times what i use yes and I'm, I'm telling you the truth and don't use small money if you want to run sponsored that you are selling car of one million naira, you want to grab five thousand naira per day as target it will not work the higher your, your your the price of your product, the higher your money on sponsored ads. These are the things I want to tell you to make cool cash. If you follow these things, I'm telling you the truth. You see, you send me a DM, you send me WhatsApp message next week and say, ah, I'm cashing out too. And you know the best time to run sponsored ads. <laughs> the best time to run sponsored ads is month end and weekends. Run your sponsored ad from Wednesday to Sunday or to Monday, men. You will cash out, especially one end like this. Ah, ah. People are looking for what to buy. Salary earners, they are on your page. So don't forget these six things I just said on how to make money on Instagram. And please call your friends, your loved ones, share this video, like, comment, put on your notification, please, so that when I come your way next time, you'll be the first to know. And the bonus points will be dropped in 